Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you're creating a new query in Query Design View, you may have tables that are not actually access tables. They might be linked spreadsheets, they may be SQL Server tables, but sometimes when you're using Access, you're not actually interfacing with Access tables. One of the neat features of Access is the ability to link to almost any kind of a data source. And you can also pull queries on the data. However, most of the time, because they're not really in your database, they actually don't have any relationship with each other. And so if you add two completely unrelated tables and you'd like to query them, then you have to select which two fields contain the shared information by which you would like to associate the two tables by clicking and dragging in the query table grid at the top to create a temporary join between the associated fields for the query design view. So for example, if we wanted to temporarily join customers and suppliers through a common city, I could click and drag city and out of one and drop it on top of city in another. You can then edit the relationship between them to assist you in producing the desired results for your query. To do this, just double click on the join line. The join properties dialog box will appear showing the names of the linked fields in the table. Below that, you can select option one, two, or three to determine how the result set should be displayed. So only include rows where joined fields from both tables are equal, or include all records from customers and only those records from suppliers where the joined fields are equal, or include all records from suppliers and only those records from customers where the joined fields are equal. So you would choose your option here to select the type of join, and then drag down the fields that you would need. Now be careful with the type of join that you create, as the type of join drastically affects the result set. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.